Hey everybody, this is Kim at the Longhorn Channel, and I wanted to quote a favorite meteorologist of mine. It says, Oklahoma weather is going to go and do Oklahoma things this afternoon. So, kind of hanging out and enjoying the uh, brief amount of sunshine we have this afternoon, which of course will heat things up and uh, we'll get more weather anyway. It's one of those uh, springtime deals, and you're just kind of happy about the weather because it fills up ponds. So priorities, I guess. Um, anyway, that being said, not too long ago, the family and I went to the Wichita Wildlife Refuge, which is uh, south of us, uh, near Fort Sill, Oklahoma, or south of Lawton, just south of Lawton. Uh, it's a really interesting place. It's one of the... Uh, places where they had the original herd of longhorns that were gathered at the turn of the century 18 to 1900s not this last one that was a mere 24 years ago um, and the uh, WR herd wildlife refuge herd I guess WWR is considered to be one of the uh, original families of Longhorns, uh, basically a real quick history lesson here. Uh, there were Longhorns, they scattered to the wind and then people were gathering up post-Civil War to, uh, to feed folks, drive them up to the uh, railway heads in, uh, in Kansas and whatnot and ship them to the East Coast to feed the, uh, the beef. And um, then they started fencing the lands, and the cattle drives were no longer a big thing, and they started importing English cattle. You could put more of those into a boxcar than you could longhorns. And so uh, the breed kind of declined, and there were a few people that kept longhorns in their herds and uh, actually bred them. And uh, WWR is one of those places where there was a group of longhorns that could be allowed to stay longhorns and not completely die out. So anyway, uh, those are wild cows. I recently did a short video where I was going to take the halters off, where I did take the halters off of uh, some of our yearlings and uh, let them out with the heifers and the heifer pen. And uh, so we call them wild cows because they're no longer wearing their halters, but these are honest to goodness wild cows. Uh, and there were some other interesting things that we saw there too. So uh, stay tuned and enjoy. Oh, and by the way, I am not the kind of person that will gather clicks and, and whatever to, uh, well, let me put it this way. I won't film something for clicks. Uh, so apologies apologies ahead of time but uh you know we're real ranchers and we're doing real things we are not here for the sensationalism uh anyway enjoy love y'all yeah at least we know they're not in yellowstone So we're walking into what is called the parallel forest. Of course, we're not alone. Parallel forest here in Wichita, Fall, Wichita Wildlife Refuge.
there are those that think that this is some spooky, satanic, ghost-like, whatever. I, of course, think that uh, this is the way they uh, planted these white pines when um, it was time to recover from a burn or something. So the, uh, here are the two spookiest creatures we'll probably see today. Anyway, just one of the many cool things here in Wichita Wildlife Refuge. Um, there is a, I think they call it the altar. Um, and I don't know if we're going to walk down and see it today or not, but uh, if, we, if we do, I'll turn you back on. So the, um, literally took 10 steps. Well, in the parallel forest and uh, there's a bunch of assholes here. So I don't really want to draw attention to this animal. There's a big red well, uh, Texas longhorn. Unfortunately, I don't need to go down this path. I think I can go down that path and live just happily ever after. And there's those scary creatures again. Slightly different view of our big brindle bull friend as I went down the safer path. Um, get a nice shot of him here. I think him thinks he's hiding. So again, this is the uh, still in the parallel forest. Hopefully I can find my way out. That's a joke, of course. But the, uh, um, I don't know, it's kind of neat. You could see how people would, uh, who didn't know any better, could, you know, lose their mind and think that uh, this is the craziest thing in the world. I just think it's the way they plant white pines after a burn or whatever. I'm not sure, but that might be the first time I think I can remember finding or seeing a uh, a longhorn here in the parallel forest. So that was one of the really interesting longhorn kind of things that we've seen at the refuge. But if you recall this guy from the short, I uh, want to give you an update on him. <laughs> 